All right, we've got a really quick uh, score that we didn't get to add in the full screen. Clarendon, they beat Plains 56 to nothing. Now let's get into some 1A action. All right, well, how about the defending state champs, McLean Tigers hosting the Happy Cowboys. You know, I was fool enough to take Happy in this one as the only person guessing the underdog. Ben Crockett shows me what's up, the touchdown run, but Happy will respond. Pace Bressler with the reception, bringing it down the field. A nice job by Happy to Pump try it. and keep this one Look close. who made the tackle. Oh, there it is again. You're Do right. All. Yep, but that's about all that Happy will get on this night, and McLean will just run away with it from here. How about this play of the night candidate? Dan Crockett. Crockett again being taken the down. He's a beast. But instead brings the, doll, the ball down the sideline. McLean wins this one 53 to 6, making me regret my all two underdog pick em choice. That's all right. We all we win some, we lose some, but we live, <laughs> we live to fight another day. Nazareth versus Meadow. Let's check this out. The Swifts trying to get a little win right here at home. Tiptoeing down the sideline. That's a great play right there. Gets it in the end zone. Touchdown for Nazareth. Metal, they respond though. Cutting it back across the field and all that open green grass is just beautiful when you're playing six man football. Nobody between you and the pylon that sits for the Broncos with the Swifts. They've got some great offense to go in there themselves. Able to make some people miss in the open field. Another Swifts touchdown. The final score from this one Nazareth wins by 20, 70 to 50. All right, well, how about some 1A scores? The Headley Owls falling to Miami Warriors 36 to 12. Take a look at this next one. A couple of scores. We got Oklahoma, Texoma falling to Thomas Bay Custer 16 to 8. How about uh, Guyman falling 48 to 7 to the Blue Jays? The Boise City Wildcats losing 40 to 36 to Timberlake Tigers. And this one, Sharon Mutual Trojans defeating the Tyrone Bobcats 60 to 32. And a couple more just if you were needing a little more action. 54 to 20 was the final over with the Turpin Cardinals taking down the Beaver Dusters and 25 to 14 the Hooker Bulldogs uh, falling to the Fairview Yellow Jackets. All right, we got some more New Mexico scores. Give Evan a breather really quick. Oh, yeah. Clovis Woo. beating Sandia right there. 50 to nothing. Rio Rancho falling to Evan. What's that word? Uh, Cibola. Cibola. There yeah. we go. 48 13. We hope that is right. Portales <laughs> getting the win against the Capital Jaguars. 35 to 26. And Logan getting a win against Dora. I can say that one. 20 to 6. West Las Vegas getting the shutout up against the Raton Tigers. Raton? Raton? Yeah, you just Raton. Hate, to, you hate to see the goose eggs in those scoreboards. Yeah, you man, just you know what happens, though. I mean, but defense coordinators, they love to see it. Uh, they love to see it from their guys. You know, a great week of game plan and it ends up with a goose egg. That means you've done something right there. We try to do the same thing the following week. And some people coming up in this next segment want some awards. They're going to try to do that next Ooh, week. Oh, yeah. Well. We've seen some big plays tonight. I mean, hit of the week, play of the week, battle of the band winner. We got it all, ladies and gentlemen. You, I mean, it's like the Emmys up in here. Hey, it don't get no better. <laughs> it don't get no better. We'll be right back there. I stick with us.